What's up guys, this is High Voltage GV, and I have my last game of StarCraft 2 for you in the little series that I'm doing where I show you how to beat the Elite AI 1v1 matchmaking in all three of the races, and this will be Zerg, the last one. Uh, my least favorite, uh, I don't know, Zerg is pretty fun, I'm kind of just getting used to it, I don't really ever play with Zerg. The thing I don't like is how much it costs to build units and structures and everything, and the fact that it takes a drone to build a structure so really it takes uh, 50 minerals more than what you would be normally be paying for the structure because you have to sacrifice a 50 mineral drone to do so okay anyways hotkey your hive right away and uh, you only want to build one drone to start with and you want to get 200 minerals right away and get your spawning pool instantly not instantly, but you know, ASAP. So yeah, like I was saying how I don't like how much it costs to build structures in the first place and the fact that I have to sacrifice a drone to build a structure, it really makes this spawning pool cost 250 minerals versus a Protoss or Terran barracks or gateway that only costs 150 and you don't sacrifice a probe or an SCV to do so. Uh, then we, let's get another drone in here, and we want an overlord as well. Increase our supply a bit. You want to time, this is all about timing. Time it perfectly so that by the time the spawning pool is done, you have 150 minerals ready to go and three larvae at least so that you can get three zerglings in. Also, set your waypoint right up in the enemy's grill for the base. Um, uh oh, I might not have timed this very well. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. 150 minerals precisely. And then we are just going to... Well, let's get one more uh, drone when we can. And basically we're just going to send Zerglings into the enemy's base very rapidly, very quickly. And as soon as I get enough minerals, I will get a Birth Queen. And we will start getting more larvae, larvae, lar whatever larva and we will start mass sending in um, zerglings. I like to send them in in groups of at least four, four to six preferably, but you don't want to send them in twos, it just doesn't get anything done. And I'm guessing by this time the enemy already has at least one or two um, units. Okay, we're going up against another zerg, so this should be real easy. Oh, and the thing about going up against Zerg AI is they always expand really fast. So they just wasted 400 minerals, well, 450 really, on uh, expanding, and I just took them out. So I can tell they are going to surrender real fast because they just wasted a bunch of money, pretty much. And notice that I got my birth queen, I sent in more rounds of zerglings, and I also got an overlord to increase my supply. Uh oh, so we have a little duel going on here with zerglings, which is fine. And that sound was my birth queen, so let's uh, get some more larvae in here. And let's take out their birth queen. Where are you going? Nobody cares. Just, I'm gonna leave one zergling there just so that they don't expand. Take out their spawning pool right away. Good job, they were automatically doing that. Of course, defend yourself if you have to. Ooh, I like that, six larva. And let's get some more. And let's continue to get our or to take out their spawning pool. And then from there we're just going to keep harassing them. Uh, make sure you protect yourself always. Oh, get that. 
guy, whatever it is. Hive queen, whatever, birth queen. Yep. It's not nice. Anyways, we have a mass amount of circlings incoming. Oops, I didn't want to do that. No, come back. I'm going to wait for these, for this crew, and then we're just going to go in and annihilate. Wait for them. All right, let's do some business. Get their queen. Get their spawning pool. It's done with, and now we're just gonna. We require more minerals. There's, there's the surrender. So, that is how you beat the Elite AI with Zerg in less than 7 or 8 minutes or so. Uh, again, subscribe if you want to see more content. And uh, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time, guys.